El Cabañal neighborhood is one of the most controversial places in Valencia. What should be the most desirable area to live since it's so close to the beach? It is one of the poorest. With a lot of contrasts, El Cabañal brings history, authenticity, and some danger. At the Valencian beach today, but not for a beach day. I'm not prepared for that, not today. I'm here because I've heard that the Guardian has ranked El Cabañal as one of the top three out of 10 best, coolest neighborhoods in Europe. And I want to see if it's that cool or not. Um, I've been here before, of course. Uh, I even have a video about it when I, uh, I was explaining about different neighborhoods in Valencia. But I want to dis discover it uh, a little bit more in depth and go to different places and just see if it's as cool as they say it is. The Valencian ports, one of the biggest ports in Europe. And I was just trying to find some shade because it's awfully sunny on the other side and usually there's so many boats and yachts and people and buzzing with bicycles but it's pretty quiet today this is one of the modern buildings here at the valencian port not this this El Cabañao is an old fisherman's village and right now it became a place where a lot of experts are interested, a lot of artists, the real estate really went up. But the, the structure of the houses and, and the way things are organized here, different than the states or let's say the places that I've seen towards Andalusia and Marbella. On my way to La Fabrica de Uelo, I think it's pronounced, it's an old ice factory which was purchased by the owners of this place in 2014 and it, is, it became almost like an emblematic place for El Cabañal. I've been there one time only years ago and I want to show you how it looks inside. It's a very artistic place. They do a lot of performances, art exhibitions, live music, the food is good, so let's go. They have so many events here. They have book reading, poetry. This is the stage, one of the stages, they have a few. This fan, it's everything. One thing I can say for sure, it is Instagrammable place. All the colors are popping, the tiles of the facades, they look authentic, like little mosaics uh, in some of them. And it brings some character because you see these kids on the streets just running everywhere, free and alone. and, and Nobody seems to be bothered. And books in English. Trying some sepia and falafel. It has this charcoal, charcoal taste. Mm. As long as it's fresh, it has olive oil. Perfect. This place actually has a lot of vegan options, vegetarian vegan options, uh, which I didn't expect, but really gives me the vibe of Venice Beach and uh, a little bit of a dingy, kind of rundown, artistic place. Incredible. Oh, so good and so clear. It is mid-September and the beach is so full uh, and, it's, and it's really hot right now. These things behind me are little bars. Finally at the beach, I got some, uh, some drinks, gin tonic of course, and these striped uh, places. It's not expensive, it's like uh, six euro I believe each one. And uh, so it's okay. Gorgeous day here, amazing.
and you shouldn't be surprised the big percentage of the girls are in uh, in monokini that's something normal here it's a great day because yesterday we had a lot of rain it's almost like the tropics there's a, a lot of rain and then the sun shines and now it's great because the sand it's not hot it's uh it's super soft and just like just warm and comfortable El Cabanyao, one of the most exciting barrios in Valencia. Everyone talks about it, a lot of artistic uh, personalities come here. These styles are so typical, all the houses are one level. Etasca la Arena in El Cabanyao, it is a chic place, it's, uh, it's fresh seafood, I've never been here before, it's reviewed really well on, uh, on Google. And we're gonna try some seafood and their local Valencian wine. I honestly get confused every time I go to a seafood restaurant, but this time I decided to shoot from what I know. So fried assortment of fresh fish, different little uh, small fish and tainas or teinas. I've never tried this uh, tiny, um, tiny mussels, but where should I start? Mm. <laughs> These mussels are so tiny and I think it's a great idea instead of eating popcorn or like um, sunflower seeds, which we do eat here when watching TV. It's a pure form of entertainment. It's so sweet and fresh and actually much healthier. Super sweet. <laughs> Typical Valencia dish, oh, it's, a, it's a bread and the mixture, the whole thing is called coca de titaina de cabana. So it's a tuna with, um, with tomato and onion and I don't know what else, but it looks delicious. These are the streets of El Cabanyao. If you're a person who likes a bit more bohemian and unpolished look of, of everything, <laughs> it's probably pretty cool. For me, I, except that it has a great proximity to the beach, it is colorful, yes, it's uh, nice to see it, nice to walk around maybe go to some uh, restaurants and bars but for me it's not uh, it's not it's not as cool as everybody uh, talks about because there are also some areas they look like they're abandoned and i'm not a fan of that you can see definitely a lot more poverty for everyone is it the coolest number three coolest in Europe I don't know it is pretty cool intriguing for sure <laughs> <laughs> 